Hey everyone, so I had a request. Uh, maybe you guys didn't get to experience chapter three in its full fledged glory of uh, how to upload things into ArcGIS online, uh, which is no problem. We'll go ahead and hopefully get that squared away for you. So I'm going to share my screen here and we'll see if we can do uh, see if we can do that quickly. I just realized that um, I don't think I have ArcGIS online open currently, but we'll get that done anyway, fairly quickly. Okay, uh, so this is chapter six. You guys have already done this. Um, one thing I did make mention of is to make sure that you keep all the layers on that you want. So I'm just going to make this quick, so hopefully it uploads fairly quickly. I'm going to turn off all these. Right. Wait, can I do it? I might be able to uh, no. get all these turned off with the exception of Texas counties. Now, it does not matter if you leave a base map on because it doesn't load the base map, but I'll turn it off anyway. Well, let's let's leave it on and we'll see what happens. Okay. Uh, so we've got just Texas counties, and I'm not asking you guys to do this. You should do this with um, your assignment seven and all of the layers that are done correctly. Um, make sure that when you have your layers, they make sense. So if you've, if you've added any, um, or if your attributes, if you added a field, make sure that they're readable, meaning that they're in enough, they're English-like enough that people can understand what's going on. Ideally, if you're going to make a very um, generic map used by the general public, then you would make this look like very plain English, and not have, and you would have a space between Texas and counties and all of that. Uh, which, if you're curious. We could open up the attribute table, and then we can um, we can see we can go to the fields, right? Um, we should just be able to right click one of these, go to fields, and we have an alias here. So what is what would it actually be called? So we can go here and then take that space out of state name or that underscore, because we don't normally see it like that. We don't normally write English with underscores. It's only there for um, the code name. And then it says County FIPS, C -U -N, or C -N uh, T Y. I would probably be able to C O U N T Y, right? Uh, to, just to spell it out. Okay. Uh, so we do something like that. We'll close it and save that. That doesn't, it's not really going to impact this particular one. Uh, if we wanted to, I'll put a space in between that, right? And so that looks good. This does not change the actual name. We go to properties. We can see, um, oh, this is, this is what it says here. Hold on a second. If we go to our geodatabase, not on properties, get this out of the way. And we can go to our projects and our databases, assignment six database, Texas counties. I changed the name of the layer, but the actual, uh, feature class here in the geo database, this is not changing it here. I would have to export it again with a different name. Notice that these will never, should never be, have spaces in them. I don't think that, that you can't have them in there. Um, and there's other restrictions for what you can actually call these. Um, but over here on your legend, you can make it look like whatever you want. Okay, so, so just catch up on that. Okay, what are we trying to do? We wanna share this as a, so we're gonna go to share. And we're going to share it as a web map. And I'm just going to click on web map up at the top. It's going to open up the sharing um, Austin metro area study. OK, why is it calling it that? Well, that's that's what the map's called. So we can call it, instead of Austin metro area, I'm just going to call it Texas counties. OK, this is just an example. So I'm going to write uh, a, a short summary. Uh, I don't know that. The summary is required, but the tags are required. We'll see. Um, but anyway, always put in a summary just to give more information as to what this uh, map's about. Uh, an example for using the share as web, oops, web map tool in ArcGIS Pro. OK, you have to give it a tag. An easy tag for us is ECU. Um, I want to also give this Texas. 
and uh, I was going to give it uh, maybe TX. Okay. You only have to give one. The more you give, uh, the easier it is for people to search for this if they're, if they're out looking for it. Uh, and actually, I believe uh, that that's incorrect. Let's see. I do e ECU and hit enter. Yeah, it should be like that. So instead of hitting semicolon, um, just hit enter after each one. ECU, um, Texas, enter, and then capital TX. I can type. There we go. Enter. Okay, so we got three separate tags. All right, and it says, yep, copy all data um, and use symbol types compatible with all clients. So uh, some enterprise versions, if you have a special symbol or symbology on here, it may not be uh, compatible with all previous um, Arc Pro versions or enterprise clients. We're going to leave that. Just check. It's we only have polygons, but simple gray lines, so no problem. Okay, location. Where do we want to put it? Uh, you can either select or create a folder. If you want to put it in a folder, you can start typing. Um, but I'm going to go here, and we've got groups here, right? So we can select groups. I'll put it in fall 2023 GIS 3953. And who do I want to share it with? I'll just share it with 8 Central University. You can share it with everyone. Who cares, right? Um, if, no one is going to go in and find your information in this educational course and say, oh, I can't believe you did that or something. What a, what a silly student. Don't worry about that. Uh, you can adjust these to see if you take off, um, if you only leave East Central, then no one outside of our group can look at it, but who cares? Um, if you are in the professional realm and you only want your particular organization, then just select your organization. Notice that these are already the options here in the group. It's already connected because ArcGIS Online used the same login that we that we used to get into ArcGIS Pro. Okay, then we're going to hit Analyze. And it's going to check and make sure everything works right. Okay, almost always it's got an issue. Um, okay, unique numeric IDs are not assigned. So what we can do to get rid of these, just uh, click on the dot, 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 and then we'll just auto-assign them. Most of the time, that's going to be fine unless you're dealing with some, if you're dealing with some programming, you may not want to do that. Um, but we'll leave it like that. Feature layer has display filters. Some client applications may not honor those. Uh, do I want to adjust that? I don't care. What's the what's the display uh, uh, filter? I don't really see anything. I'm not worried about it. Okay. We're just going to ignore that. So this is just a warning. It's not a uh, error. So this is errors and this is warnings. You have to fix the errors. The warnings are okay. All right, I've analyzed it. I'm going to analyze again, and I actually only get that warning now. You don't need to analyze it again if, you, if you've if you already fixed your error, but I'm just doing that to show. Okay, and then I'm going to hit share. And now it's posting it to our ArcGIS online account. Let me quickly, I'm going to open up ArcGIS um, online and um, get there but while wow, this is still loading it takes it takes a little bit it's fine I'm going over here sign it into my accounts and okay when you sign into your account it should look something like this right and, oh okay new features coming cool don't have time to learn anything new right now uh so you can click on your organization to see what's available through your organization uh, and you can see all the different people that are here, right? That's great. Your, who your administration is. So if you have issues and I'm not available, you can always contact these folks. Let's go to content because that's what we're after. And this is my particular content. Um, and I have these specific uh, folders in mine. And I, most of these are shared to the public, so I don't mind. Um, but what about, what else do we, oh, let's go to groups, right? So we got favorites and groups as well. The group content. What content do we want to look at? Okay, all group content capstone. No, let's just look at fall 2023. Uh, and then we can double click here and make sure that that's open up. Oh, I'm, I don't see my Texas stuff yet, right? I wonder what's up. Is it not finished loading? I am at my house and my internet is pretty slow and it's still working. Oh my goodness, right? Just imagine if you have lots of things on here and I 
it took a it took a long time to uh, to load up. Um, so we'll see. Um, I, I I did expect it to have finished already. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, stop the recording and then when it's done, um, we'll we'll be back. Okay, so that took about oh, another probably minute or so. And uh, it finished. And you get the green check, and that's always great. Um, and quite happy about that. We can go close this. Uh, I'm going to close this, and then we can, oh, let's go back to view and make sure that we can see our, um, what are we looking for? No, not catalog view. Oops, don't want the catalog to be open. I want view catalog pane. OK, I get this. Excuse me. Okay, so we've got this here. This is our local, what we have local in our geodatabase. Let's go to our portal, because right? that's what we're talking about. That's ArcGIS Online. These are all my folders that we saw before. Oh, and look here, just in the generic opening, I've got Texas counties. That's there. Uh, you could, I believe you can go through here and you can look for different things if you have a whole bunch of stuff up there. Uh, so, all of my all of my things that I've added up here for whatever classes or demonstration I had. Uh, okay, we can see that. We can click on ArcGIS Online specifically, and um, we can actually go to Groups here, My Groups. Okay, and we can search My Groups. Uh, what kind of group? Oh, say I was on Content right here. If you notice, we we'll switch it to Groups, and then we can look inside this one. Double click. And we can see that, oh, it did load up. OK. And so I also had loaded the Food Fighters concert map. Um, it's a project I was working on for OAF that I unfortunately did not get finished and submitted. But anyway, OK, so we got Texas counties. Let's go back to our RTAF online. Uh, we can find that one here. OK, content. <laughs> and we see here that Texas counties is now here, which is great. Uh, this is. My, all my group's content, but let's go back to uh, fall 2023, this class. And if you want to, you can look at the group page. So we can click on that expand button, and we can see all that content down here. There's a big thumbnails. Uh, and we can see, uh, we should be able to see who the members are. Right up here, right? So we got content. So this is group content. We can look at these. This gives us more information. We have the dot 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 if we want to open these up, which we will look at that in a in the map viewer. Um, but you can do other things. We could bring it back down to pro or put it in arc map if you want it to go backwards for every, for whatever reason. But let's look at our members. Okay. Uh, I added all of y'all all of y'all to this organization or to our group, excuse me. You're already part of the organization, and that's when you first signed up. Okay, sorry. So let's go to, back to content, and we'll look at this map. And then I can click on Texas counties. Uh, and then it's going to show me specifically there. I didn't have to do that. I could have just gone view in map viewer or open in map viewer. And here we go. It's going to load up. And notice that I've got my Texas counties here. Oh, you know what? That's why it did take so long. So I, um, I think what I forgot, this was a web map. And as I was thinking it was a web layer. So web map does load up all your layers. So, uh, but notice that they're turned off. So anyway, we can still see those uh, up here and zoom in as as we were to uh, before. It, I can tell you that it's much easier to share information like this uh, than it is uh, to try to to pack up a layer file and send it to someone. It's much easier to do it this way. But anyway, if we decide we don't want these on here, we could get rid of them, right? Just remove them like that. Pretty simply. Um, and whatever, if you needed to. Uh, and so make sure if you happen to add stuff that you didn't mean to, like I did here, take care of it. Right? If you're trying to turn something in for a grade, make sure it looks good um, by the due date. That way, um, you get full credit for not including things you shouldn't have. Uh, but that's just an example. So I kind of went over a couple things, how to get this loaded up, how to fix some mistakes if you make any, uh, and what that might look like. OK, so um, 
this is in the the new map viewer. There's another classic viewer. And if you haven't learned anything in the classic viewer, I would just use the new one. Um, the old one has a couple of different settings on it that aren't applicable unless you absolutely need them. So I'm not even going to worry about talking about it. Um, but we can do a lot of different things in this map. Uh, the advantage to using something online is that you um, are based in the cloud. And so if your processing speed or graphics card isn't capable of certain things, you can always have something processed in the cloud for you. Uh, the disadvantage is, is that once you get on the professional side, most everything you do in the cloud, at least on Esri, is going to um, spend your credit. So that's that's a challenge. Okay. So just wanted to give you a quick tour of that and overview. Hope that helps. Um, if you got questions, let me know. Otherwise, uh, happy mapping.